Some of you love me, some of you don't. But I will always speak the truth as I see it. This is We the People with Gloria Allred. Rebecca Vieira is suing ZZ York in the amount of $220 for the cost of a broken necklace that Ms. Vieira contends was overpriced and defective. Ms. Vieira, why are you in court today? Your Honor, I'm here today because I bought a $220 necklace from ZZ here and it broke within the next day that I purchased it and I want my money back. All right. Uh, Your Ms. Honor, it's Mrs. York. It's not ZZ. We're not that close. All right. Ms. York, Thank you, you may proceed. What is your defense? First of all, did she buy a necklace from you? In fact, she did, Your yeah. Honor. Can all I talk? Right. All right, she did. Correct, Don't she be did. speaking to her. Speak to the court. Got it. And take your hand off your hip and stand as though you are in court and not on a street corner somewhere. Excuse me? I don't I, think you know me like that. I think you heard what I said. Clear enough. All right. Now, let me see. Move behind from the podium to the table. Let me see what you're wearing there. Oh, you like it? Should I walk more she obviously Did I doesn't. ask you to do that? No? Oh, is that Brian, what you're doing? Brian, okay, excuse me. I think you need to stand beside her. Stand you are beside not me. to approach. Oh, you might need to stand beside me. You are, you are not to. Kidding. You're not to approach the bench, that is the court. Okay. Without asking. Okay. And permission will not be granted for that either. Okay. All right. Now. Look around. Check it out. Where are you? Hey, uh, y'all. You're going? in a court of law. Do you understand? I'm sorry. I'm not a criminal. I'm not used to this. I'm new to this thing. All right. Well, you're new. Let me tell you what the rules are. You will, first of all, stand behind the podium. You stand with your hands at your side. Okay. At your side. Not out like this. Not on your hips. Just like this. And if you think you're going to be just a form of entertainment in my court when you got that all wrong, of Ms. Course. York. Of you got it? Got it. We have a bailiff standing beside you. That's Brian. Yes, we do. All right, you're not to speak to him. You're not to speak to anyone in this courtroom okay. until you're told by the court to do so. You understand okay. that? Okay, I'm sorry. I was a little nervous. Sorry. Okay. All right, now, Ms. Vieira, tell me how it is that you came to purchase a necklace from Ms. York. Your Honor, I'm at, um, I'm at ZZ's, um, the farmer's market. I'm at her boutique every Thursday. I go, you know, every day during my lunch break. The farmer's market is just down the street from my work. Now, I go, I've been a very loyal customer to her. She you know, we've no known each other for, we've known each other for years. I've been going there for years. All right, well, why are you here today? Because I bought this necklace here. As you can see, it's busted, it's broken. I want my money back. I paid $220 for it, and this isn't worth $220. It's cheap, Your Honor. When I bought it, I bought a few I bought, items. Her is cheap, honey. I bought a few <laughs> items. Ms. York. I'm just saying, she's sitting, I mean, she's Wait, playing my character. Here, uh, you know what, Ms. York? It's not your character. Ms. York? Your items. I'm Ms. sorry, York. Yes, Your Honor. Do you know where your ears are? Yes. Let me see you point to them. Behind my wig. All right. Let's point to both ears. Okay. All right. Thank Do you me. know the difference between your ears and your mouth? In most cases, yes. Okay. The ears are for listening, and that's what I want you to do. Okay. The mouth is for talking. That's not what I want you to do right now. Okay. Do you understand? Your hands, elbows, knees, and toes. May I continue? I want my money back. All right, you may continue. Thank you, Your Honor. After I purchased the necklace, um, I went home and you know I took a better look at you know at the at the items that I purchased, and I saw that this looked fragile. It looked fragile. It looked cheap, and sure enough, I was right. Now I called ZZ back. I called ZZ as soon as I took a look at it, and I told her I was like, you know what, ZZ, um, you know I I took a look at it, and I don't like it. You know, it's not worth it's not worth my money. Well, was and it because it wasn't your worth your money? But well, you mentioned that it was fragile. Were you concerned that it was going to break? Yes, I was, and I had told her that. And did you that. tell her that? Yes, I did tell her that, Your Honor. And what did you tell her you wanted to do as a result I of your being her, concerned? I told One her. One second. Go ahead. I told her that you know I wanted to exchange it for another item, something better, and she completely lashed out on me went very dramatic and told me that that was never going to be possible when, Your Honor, she's done this for me before. All right, so she said she wouldn't take it back, and that's why you're in court today. Yes. Do you, and what Actually, happened you, after that? Your Honor, she did tell me she would take it off my hands, but to sell it to somebody else, she was not going to give me anything for it. Not even, no store credit, no refund, nothing. But she was, she was going to be able to take it All back. All right, so what did you decide to do then? Um, I held on to it, you know, I said, okay, I'll give it a try, 
And sure enough, I wasn't able. I put it on. It wasn't even able to walk out the door with it. What because happened? Because it busted. Coming up on We the People with Gloria Allred. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Honor. Thank you. Of honor. Your honor. Ma'am of honor. Maid of honor. Yes. No, not maid of honor. Your honor. Your honor. Thank you. And later. And when I was let the fire out, it caught her hair on fire. Just an accident. Just, just an accident. It was a total Just a accident. coincidence that she was at the time smooching it up with your ex-boyfriend. Right. It was a total accident. I mean, coincidence. She... Closed captioning provided by. The case of Rebecca Vieira, who is suing ZZ York over a broken necklace. All right, Ms. York, you may proceed. Don't be making faces. I'm Secondly, don't try being cute in my courtroom. So I have evidence of that now or later? Now. Okay, so I have evidence on the bottom of my receipt. There's absolutely no refunds and no exchanges. All right. I mean, clearly have I you shown Spanish. that to the plaintiff? Has she seen this? She read the receipt, right? All right, I'm looking at a receipt. This is from your shop, and it says absolutely no refunds or exchanges. Your right. Honor, did why are you talking about evidence time? I didn't ask you for anything. Absolutely no refunds or exchanges. All right, now, Ms. York, mm -hmm. are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Honor. Thank you. Of honor. Your honor. Ma'am of honor. Maid of honor. Yes. No, not maid of honor. Your honor. Your honor. Thank you. Excuse me. He's making me nervous. Yes, Your Honor. You are relying on what it says on your receipt. Yes, Absolutely Your Honor. no refunds or exchanges. Correct. All right, thank but you. Can I, can I say something? Yes, you I may. I did, because this is the third time, Your Honor, in the last six months that Miss Thing over here. Do has... not insult the plaintiff. No, that's, that's the term You may call her plaintiff or Miss Vieira. Um, so basically, Your Honor, I said, you know what? What is the issue with the next? It's busted. I said, explain to me what exactly busted means in regards to a necklace. I mean, how is that busted? Did you, were you doing something inappropriately? The man does not your husband you be with on Friday nights? Oh, my God. Yeah, right? Okay, or yeah, was she... Didn't I tell yeah, you yeah. not to address... Well, because that's sidebar evidence. Like, you know what I'm saying? She basically has a little friend on the side. Yeah, I've been watching... Well, I called York, her before it busted. You've been watching way too much television. Your Honor, she busted open. I'm not lying. All right, the court is ready to rule. Even Listen up. Ask her husband. He knows me. Ms. York. Boom. Ms. York. Do you hear Boom. your name being called, Ms. Um, York? I heard it. I'm sorry. I was distracted by her tacking it. All right. Well, you may be very distracted by the ruling. Listen to the judge. I'm sorry. Listen to the judge. Don't look at me like that. Ms. York. You are wasting the court's time. I'm sorry. And that's something the court takes very seriously and does not like at all. You get my joke. Can I say one more thing? All right, here, no. Thank God. Evidence These is are closed. And I wear 12. This is the ruling. Any merchandiser who sells goods explicitly or implicitly warrants that those goods, those products, are in a condition that is usable and not defective. You have a right to get your money back if what you purchased is defective. I find that you did not intentionally break this necklace. You weren't trying to get back at her. You had a record of purchasing goods from Ms. York. You liked the jewelry purchases you had made in the past. Mm -hmm. But this was obviously defective. As a result, I'm going to rule for the plaintiff, and you are going to get your money back. Uh -huh. Miss Trial on one strike. Judge Allred has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The uh, defendant yeah, is ordered to pay two hundred twenty dollars. I'm very happy about the ruling. I shouldn't have had to pay for something that was defective to begin with. The judge got it all wrong. She's the bogus. The girl's lying. She on food stamps. She broke. And.